In this video, let us look into the steps about construction of a histogram of a continuous grouped frequency distribution with unequal class intervals. The previous thing that we did was of equal class intervals. It was just a construction of a histogram of a continuous grouped frequency distribution. But this one is a continuous grouped frequency distribution, all right, but with unequal class intervals. The first step, not very different, take a graph paper and draw two perpendicular lines, one horizontal and one vertical, intersecting at O, mark them as OX and OY. The second step is here, take horizontal line OX as X axis and vertical line OY as Y axis. The third step says, choose a suitable scale along X axis and represent class limits on it. Fourth step, now this is not very familiar for us. This is the one that differs from the rest of the things that we've done. Determine a class interval which has the minimum class size and let the minimum class size be H. And the fifth step, compute the adjusted frequencies of each class by using the following formulae. For those of you wondering what is this adjusted frequency of a class all about, we are dealing with unequal class intervals. So adjustment frequency of a class equals H by class size into frequency of the class. And another point is that these adjusted frequencies are the heights of each rectangle of histogram, but widths will be according to class limits. For example, if a class limit is more than one more, the width of the histogram will be greater than the previous one. These things will be best understood when we solve a problem in the forthcoming videos. So just make the most of this, these steps and let's not confuse too much. In the forthcoming videos, when we solve a problem based on these steps, things will get a lot more clearer. And the sixth step, Choose a suitable scale for y-axis and mark adjusted frequencies along y-axis. And the seventh step, construct rectangles with class intervals as basis and respective adjusted frequencies as heights. So the histogram so obtained at the end of all these steps is the desired histogram of the given frequency distribution. Now this procedure will be illustrated in the forthcoming videos.